Now, honestly, Morag, I do think that Brillo has helped your freckles. <laughs> what? Oh, hello! <laughs> We've been having a running buffet for the last programme. We all mucked in on the nosh. I did my butter bean whip. It's over there in a bucket. <laughs> and the director did us a quiche. I suppose it's his acne, but I definitely detected a tang of clearasil. <laughs> the producer didn't cook, thank goodness. She's a nice girl, but when someone chain smokes capstan full strength and wears a Coleman's jerkin, you're hardly tempted to sample their dumplings. <laughs> First day I met her, she said, <laughs> she said, I'm a radical feminist lesbian. I thought, what would the Queen Mum do? <laughs> So I just smiled and said, we shall have fog by tea time. <laughs> she said, are you intimidated by my sexual preferences? I said, no, and I'm not too struck with your donkey jacket, are you? <laughs> then it was, what do you think of marks? I said, I think their pants have dropped off. <laughs> She said, I was referring to Karl Marx, who, as you know, is buried in Highgate Cemetery. I said, of course I knew. But were you aware, I said, that Cheadle Crematorium holds the ashes of Stanley Kershaw, patenter of the Kershaw double gusset? <laughs> to my mind, a far bigger boon than communism. I said, don't tell me the Russian women are happy down the mines all day without so much as a choice of support hose. <laughs> It's all right, leave the bottle. <laughs> In Russia, show the least athletic aptitude, and they've got you dangling from the parallel bars with a leotard full of hormones. <laughs> <laughs> and what has China ever given the world? Can you really respect a nation that's never taken to cutlery? <laughs> They litter the high street with bean sprouts. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. What about the Chinese acrobats? Overrated. I could hop up on a unicycle and balance a wheelbarrow on my eyebrows, but I'm too far too busy. <laughs> if I was to take, if I was to take to juggling, I should never get any rummy played. <laughs> Not that I think Britain's perfect. Oh no. I see life each week from the train window of my Cheadle saver. And I think I can safely say that people today aren't pegging enough out. <laughs> well, you should see what I see. If I was Prime Minister, and thank goodness I'm not because I've been the length and breadth of Downing Street and never spotted a decent wool shop. <laughs> machine into the Houses of Parliament and turn it into a leisure centre. <laughs> the income from that would pay off the national debt and we could all meet in Helen Murchison's extension. I should also put three pence on the price of a flip-top bin because I don't like them and use the spare cash to nationalise the lavatory industry, resulting in a standard flush. Furthermore, I would confer knighthoods on various figures in the entertainment and sporting world, namely David Jacobs, Pat Smythe, and Dolly of Emmerdale Farm. <laughs> Before I leave you, I must say I have much love coming here every week to put you right. And I'd just like to pass on a piece of advice given to me by a plumbing acquaintance of my father's. It's an old Didsbury saying, I've never forgotten it. <laughs> 